to another regaling of strange fantasy. Obscure odysseys meant to shock the nervous system and stir the very core of your soul. Tonight's tale concerns the theatrics of mayhem. The wickedness of man's soul doth be cast into existence from the fowls of ill intent. Once the nightmare lives, when does it end? In this installment entitled, Two for the Show. All right, y'all. I'm going to go inside and ask for directions. You think you can handle pumping the gas? Oh, come on, Dan. I'm turning 21 in a week. How long are you going to treat me like I'm still your little brother? Well, forever, Alan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the directions. Oh, wait, and also see if they have any good jerky in there. Ew, from this old rundown piece? Yeah, okay, I help you, boy. Jesus, man. Hey, how's it going? Fine. Good to hear. Oh, well, my brother and I are kind of lost. Maybe you could tell us where Highway 52 is supposed to intersect? We've been driving for hours and haven't seen any signs. 52, eh? You got a map? Yeah, yeah. Alan, hand me the map. Here you go. Okay, so we're right here, and uh, 52 is way the hell over there. Damn it. We overshot it, Alan. Is there a way for us to maybe cut through somewhere? Well, reckon there is. Uh, so come on inside. I got a better map, man. This old outdated piece of junk. Would you be okay to go ahead and start pumping some gas? Sure. You know how to work one of these pumps, boy? Uh, sir, I'll be attending college to become a doctor. Hey, what I asked, boy? Yes, I can manage. Hey, follow me. I'll just be a few minutes, Ellen. Hey, see if they got any jerky. Yeah, I'll see. <laughs> you know how to work one of these. So simple. Hey, boy. You know where we can find Highway 52? Funny you should ask. My brother's inside trying to figure out that exact same question. Is that right? This here's my sister, Bobby. Bobby Sullivan. Oh, my God. Hiya, stud. And I'm her brother, Edgar. Edgar Sullivan. Bobby, our new friend here has... I'm sorry, I forgot your name, boy. Uh, it's Alan. My name is, uh, Alan. A real pleasure, Alan. So, as I was saying, dear sister, Alan here has a brother inside the station getting directions to 52. He a dog will get that information. Sure thing. What's your brother's name, stud? Dan. Gotcha. So, this y'all's van? Pretty sweet ride, if I do say so myself. Uh, thanks. Take a ride down an old road 39 and you go all the way down to the buckles with 52, about 15, 20 miles. Uh, you going east or west on 52? West. Alright, uh, so just hang left uh, and then you're there, boy. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, old man. Oh, do you sell any beef jerky here? Yeah, I reckon we got a few hides drying our back. Sounds pretty fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, skinned them hides myself a couple weeks ago. Should be good for eating by now. Should be. Pardon me, boys. Whoa. Hot damn, girl! Do either of you fine gentlemen know how to get to Highway 52? Funny you should ask. I just got directions to Highway 52. <laughs> that is pretty funny. You must be Dan, Alan's brother. Am I right? Yeah. How'd you know that? My brother Edgar introduced us on the way in here. Such a nice young man. Yeah, he's a good kid. So are you and your brother headed to 52? Yeah, something like that. Well, if you want, you can follow my brother and I there. You see, we figured maybe we could just take that sweet-ass ride you got out there instead. It has more space to accommodate our needs than the car we currently have. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you don't. Alan! Hold it right there, handsome. Don't make another move, I'll blast you down, too. Y you killed him. Why? Let's just get back, calm down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I killed him, too. Why bother asking why? Realize that we do just because. What's happening? Please. 
What do you want from me? To get your ass up and moving. Come on, let's go. Get outside, hurry up. Did you get the directions? Yep, got them right here. God damn it, Bobby, what do you think you're doing? We can't take on any more hostages. Yeah, but he's cute, and he knows where we're going. Oh my God, Alan. I'm so sorry, Alan. It should have been me. Shut up, you big crybaby. Ah, all right, fine. We'll take him. Get his ass in the new car, and I'll grab the bitch. Ah, don't you start with me. So help me, bitch, I'll kill you right here. Leave you to rot in the back seat. Do you understand me? Nod your head yes, if you understand. Good girl. Now get the hell out. Hurry your ass up. We ain't got all goddamn day to watch you cry over a dead body. You bitch! You're a glutton for pain, you know that? I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up and get in the car. Now, we only got the one chain, so y'all gonna have to share. There. You two behave back here. No hanky-panky. You got me, Hoss? Go to hell. Boy, I am hell. Blow it up this time, please. Light it up, sister. <laughs> Authorities continue to release information as this tragic situation progresses. Wanted in six different counties for manslaughter, first degree murder, arson, multiple counts of armed robbery, and the malicious murder of Reverend James Maynard of Masterson County. A nationwide manhunt is ordered into effect for the gruesome brother and sister duo, dead or alive. Edgar Sullivan is a six foot two Caucasian male with short brown hair, brown eyes, and 38 years of age. There is an easily identifiable tattoo on his inner forearm of the name Bobby, which brings us to our next description of Bobby Sullivan. Female Caucasian, approximately five foot six, brown eyes, blonde hair, the fashion of which may have changed. These two were last seen driving a 1966 Cutlass Supreme, color red, on Route 18 outside Baker's Bluff. If you see or suspect these criminals, you are encouraged to contact your local authorities. Do not approach or attempt to apprehend. Bobby and Edgar Sullivan are to be considered extremely armed and dangerous. You turn that propaganda garbage off. Makes my goddamn ears ring. Hot damn, Edgar. We're radio stars. Bet you we make an appearance on the six o'clock news with Fulton Billings. On the TV? Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to let you in on a little something, sister. We ain't nobody. Ain't nobody caring for us but ourselves. They don't care about our blood. Not for these poor forsaken souls in the back. Hell. Radio didn't even mention we had them. Nothing. You know, you're such a bummer sometimes. A girl can dream, can't she? Ah, horse hell. I ain't smashing no one's dreams. What about Alan's dreams? You saying something to me, Hoss? Yeah, I think he's trying to say- No! No, let Mr. Big Shot tell me what's on his mind. You killed my youngest brother. Alan actually had a future. Now correct me if I'm wrong here, Hoss. But your brother, what was his name, Alan? You see, Alan ain't got no more future. Cause Alan is laying dead where I left him. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, hold it right there, you wannabe hero. Be cool before I splatter your goddamn brains all over your new friend here. Well, would you look at what we've got up ahead on the road? Another victim. You think that poor boy is hitchhiking his thumb for us, dear Edgar? I do believe so, sister. Let us oblige him. <laughs> now, I'll just keep your peace back there, or else this peace will keep you quiet enough. How's it going, stud? What's the matter, cat? Got your tongue or something? <laughs> You got a name? Tim. 
Hmm, you're very cute, Tim. You need a ride? Indeed I do. Are you heading toward 52? Indeed I am. Why don't you hop on in through the back? Here, I'll even get the door for you. Get in, handsome, and make nice with the others. Okay, whatever you say. Hmm, I like you. Now shut your mouth and hurry it up. Okay. Hi, I'm Tim. Hey, how's it going? I'm Tim. Pardon me. I'm just gonna slide right in next to you, yeah? Uh, okay, I'm ready. What in the hell is wrong with you, boy? Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, hello, by the way, I'm Tim. Yeah, I think we got that. Bobby, are you sure we should be taking this guy with us? I mean, something ain't right about him. I don't see no harm. He's kind of cute. Like a puppy. He looks like a goddamn ghost to me. Oh, yes, sir. It has been noted before that I have certain ghost-like qualities to me, but not to worry at all, sirs and ma'ams. I just need to lift up the roadways. And good news for you folks, because I know a shortcut to get y'all on the highway in no time. All right. How far up ahead? Oh, just six or eight more miles. You're going to see a dirt road turnoff. A few miles down is my stop. And then a few more miles past that is your highway exit. You better be right. Hey, what you deal, man? Do you honestly not see that we're being held against our will here? I understand just fine, but this is normal for me. What? How can this be normal for you? Well, you see... Hey! What the hell are you two gabbing on about back there? You better not be plotting against us, Timothy. Actually, ma'am, Tim is short for victim. What? I don't even really care. My name was given to me by my masters. They felt it quite appropriate, and I've become quite fond of it, really. That's great! Now, shut the hell up about your stupid name. Mm, yes, ma'am. I love this. It's just like an overture before the show begins. You're just as crazy as them, aren't you, Tim? I'm not getting out of this alive, am I? No, probably not. So, what's her story? I don't know. They already had her when they killed my brother and took me. <sighs> well, that doesn't tell me much, now, does it? Let's talk to her. Hey, you, other hostage. Can you hear me? She's beat up pretty bad. Yes, I can see that. Remove her gag. You gotta be quiet, okay? Uh -huh. There. What is your name? Please help me. Please untie me. Please untie me. Stay calm. Tell me your name. M M Melissa. Hello, M M Melissa. I'm Tim, and this is... Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't think I got your name. It's Dan. All right. Now... That we're all acquainted. Tell us, Melissa, how did you end up in this kooky situation? Are you mad or something? I've already asked, and the answer is yes. Uh, He's crazy. Come on, just tell us already. They took me from my bed in the middle of the night. They killed my husband, you goddamn murderers! Bobby, would you please shut that bitch up? Happy to. Oh, look, there's the dirt road shortcut coming up on your right. Lucky you spotted it. I was about to blow your goddamn head off. Lucky indeed, sir. Hey, Tim. Yes, sir? Tim, we've been driving for a while now, and my concerns keep growing with each passing minute. Concerns, sir? Yes, Tim. Concerns of the sun setting and we're in the goddamn middle of nowhere! Ah, understood. And by that fuel gauge on the dashboard, it would seem that walking is in the near future. Tim, the next few words out of your mouth better be some positive, vast reinforcement. Otherwise, I ain't got a goddamn reason to keep you around no more! My masters can help. We're almost there. Masters, huh? How many masters you got? Oh, uh, four or five, I suppose. Well, that's it. What the hell happened? Why are we stopped? The automobile has run out of fuel, ma'am. I'll only say this once. Sit back in your seat and stop talking. Acre, what the hell are we gonna do? It's getting dark. Old Tim says his masters are gonna help us out. That's great, but we're still in the middle of nowhere. I don't see anything around us except woods and dirt. Well, why don't you ask our new friend how much further his masters are? 
I'm going to go get the bag's money ready for foot travel. God damn it. Well, how far is it? You can talk. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we are only about a ten minute hike from where my masters reside. Why do you keep calling them masters? Because they will teach me all that they have mastered. And that would be? Oh, a variety of different things, ma'am. Tell me something. Do you like entertainment? What kind? Like TV or something? Yes. Stories brought to life right in front of your very eyes from out of the pages they leapt into existence, providing you a wondrous spectacle in which to enjoy. You want to be entertained, don't you? You would love it, wouldn't you? Yes. What the hell is going on? I have no idea. What in the hell? Tell me something, Hoss. Why are you so close to my sister right now? You best not be forming any ill thoughts in that filthy lizard brain of yours. Sir, if I may, I was only answering the madam's question with an expressed interest on the subject. And just what subject might that be? I'm glad you asked. Entertainment was the relative topic of discussion before you... Never mind. Tell me, sir, do you like to be entertained? What I like is to get our asses moving before the sun fully sets. And we can't see two inches from our goddamn faces! Now get out of the van and stand still, you dumb son of a bitch! <sighs> You got something to say, Bobby? Party pooper. This ain't no time to be getting friendly with the hostages. Now help get them out of the van and let's get moving. Time's running against us. <sighs> Fine. Bobby, take Tim and chain his ass up to the front. Come on, y'all. Sing a file line. You know the drill. Let's go. They're all secured, brother. Fantastic. Let's move. If any of you try anything funny, I'll kill you. I'll kill you all, understood? Yeah, I thought so. Tim! Yes, sir. About how far of a hike we looking at here? Oh, give or take a mile or so. Let me just make something very clear to you, Tim. If I find out you're lying, or there's some kind of ruse to catch me and buy me off guard, I will kill you slowly. I'll keep you dying for days, boy. And I don't mind the sound of screaming. Helps me sleep. We good, Tim? Mm. Oh, yes, sir. I do believe we have a mutual understanding. Perfect. Let's move out! And that was the 23rd time I was kidnapped, so I guess this would make it a total of 24 kidnappings. <sighs> Anywho, what were we talking about? Hey! Does anyone else hear music? Where's it coming from? There's nothing around us. There's a light up ahead. Maybe it's coming from there. Is that where you live, Tim? Sort of. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Tim? Is this where you've been dragging our asses or what? Who's making that music, Tim? My masters. Dan, was it? You do not ever speak without my goddamn permission! Or I won't show you the same patience with my next bullet! Now, Tim, that was very rude, answered his question before mine. I'm sorry, sir. Answer my question. Is this where you've been taking us? In fact, it is, sir. My masters are waiting. What's with the music? My masters have prepared for you tonight's entertainment. A performance piece, if I recall correctly. Like theater? I love the theater. Yes, like a theatrical play. More information will be provided by the show attendant when we arrive. Uh, by the sound of the music, we better hurry. Well, hurry up then! Lead the way! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need this. We need this. Okay? There was literally nothing else we could be doing right now. We're on foot until we can find another mode of transport. So, until then, dear brother, I'd like to see what kind of show we're in for tonight. God damn it, Bobby. I don't like this. You don't even know if you'll like it yet. But what if I don't? Then what? Then we'll leave, Edgar. I promise. But I'm telling you, you're gonna like it. Ain't no better feeling in the world than being entertained. I could not agree with you more, madam. And please do forgive my intrusion in saying so, but 
we really should get a move on before the curtain rises. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Oh, yay! Sounds like we're so close to the music. I can feel it vibrating the air. But there's nothing here, just trees. Where is it, Tim? Tell me. Where did Tim go? What? What the hell? Where Tim? Hey, you better tell me right now, Dan, or else I'm gonna kill you. Then go buy Tim's ass and kill him. I, I, I don't know. You don't know your goddamn head from your ass, Dan. He was chained up right next to you, so you tell me. How the hell did he get unchained? Uh, I, I, I... Speak! I don't know! Edgar, stop. Look over there. Through the trees, I see light. Bobby, wait! Come on, this way! Oh, God damn it! Come on, let's go! Move, move, move! What? What the hell? I know! Am I looking at some sort of... theater? In the woods? I know! And look who I found! Hello and welcome, sir. This is just not any theater, mind you. This is a perfectly crafted stone amphitheater. In its harmonious symmetry, my masters will entrance and entertain. Thrill and shock. A carousel of imagination awaiting to be discovered. You've just got to see it. Now, as your attendant for tonight's show, I would like to advise that if any questions arise, Please feel free to inform me at once, so I may inform you of the answer. Any questions? What the? Yeah, what's tonight's play called? Ah, a very good question indeed, madam. Tonight's play is entitled Blue Skin Black Heart. And it is a dark and twisted drama with realistic tones of death, murder, and betrayal. Oh. Hey, don't frown, ma'am. There's also a bit about true love. Really? Yes, of course! But then it dies! Oh. I'm only joking around, madam. Or am I? Let's go find out! Come on, I'll show you to your seats this way! Come now, mind your steps! Ah, here we are. The best seats in the house, right up front. This almost doesn't seem real. How is there a stuff? What do you call it? An amphitheater? How is any of this even possible, goddammit? We're in the middle of nowhere! Never you mind, sir. You were saying? Thank you so very much, Tim. That will be all for now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for our dearest victim. He works exceptionally hard in everything he does. Ah, who the hell's clapping? What's your name, handsome? And what do we have here? Madam, if I may say so, your essence permeates the night air around you with hateful hints of lilac, rosewood, and death. Ah, yes. Toxicating, to say the least. <clears throat> Sirs and madams, I humbly welcome you all to tonight's magnificent and wondrous tale of murder and betrayal, love and sacrifice, heartache and reprieve, for tonight's tawdry parable was crafted especially for you, our guests. To introduce myself, I am the great and illustrious Caruso. Now to introduce the incalculable anomalies, the freaks from out of this world, my Mesonoxian players. First up is the one without whom none of this would be possible. A beautiful beacon of dark matter for me to be led. I present to you the queen of terror, the harvester of broken hearts, Sarka! I am pleased that you have found us. I look forward to knowing you all in the most deepest and personal of ways. <laughs> That's fantastic! Isn't she glorious, folks? Next up is a true gem, the paragon of a diamond in the rough, and he is all yours tonight, gals and gents. 
the magnitude of crude, the inspired constant in your phantasmagoria. He's what some would call art itself. Philo! Good evening. A man of few words, but riddled with infinite expressions. And finally on the playbill for tonight is a woman whose wisdom has far surpassed any conceptual idea that you or I could ever fathom. She is neither here nor there, but rather everywhere. We are rendered still images on her voyage throughout the oceans of time. I give you Zoxian! I sense many a great themes among this audience. Fear, pain, hatred, and power. Where is Tim? Over here, Madam Zoxian. Just a moment. Yes, my master. So hold on. I mean, are you sure? Melissa. What do you think they're saying? Yeah, Melissa. What do you think they're whispering about, hmm? Ah, how did you get down here? Down where, dearest Melissa? <laughs> yes, Master. I, I will inform her at once. Are you quite finished? Right then. On with the show! Hey, who turned out the goddamn lights? Blue skin, black heart. Blue skin. 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 Black heart. The blue skin of a dying man. The black heart of the bloody hand. The completion of punishment the bitter end. Blue skin, black heart. 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 Uh, pardon me, Melissa. My master, Madame Zoxian, has requested your presence behind the stage. What for? That I do not know, madam. Will you go? It's not really up to me. It's up to the man with the gun. Choice is and should always remain within you. No chains can prevent a choice from happening. Look once more, dear Smithers. You are free. How? Oh. Now, will you meet with my master? Okay. This way, please. I don't understand what's happening here, Tim. I'm scared and I just want to go home. Madame Zoxin can explain all, if you trust him, madam. Hello, child. Thank you, Tim. That will be all for now. Yes, master. Good luck, dear master. You have no eyes. I see all. Sense all. With one foot in this realm and the other in the world that is beyond your comprehension. My sight belongs to the third eye within my soul. Please, excuse me if I seem a bit confused, but I... Dearest Melissa, you poor child, none of this is meant for you. I was not able to foresee that you would be part of this. I am most troubled by your presence here. What? I'm, I'm not part of anything. I don't want to be here. Why are you the one that's troubled by me? You said it perfectly. You are not a part of anything. You are not supposed to be here. You are potential chaos, debris, loose inside of a working machine. You must leave at once. Leave? I, where am I? Where do I run to? I, I've just got to get away. I can leave? I can really leave now? Yes. Run, child. Run as fast as you can and do not look back. Run. Oh, God. What do I do? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, gosh. I can't just leave Dan there with those crazy bastards, damn it! Oh, I need a plan. Father? Yes, son? Father, I'm going to kill you. We all have our entrances and exits in life. Doth one constant remain true? The cold steel 
that split the atoms inside you. Oh, my son. Why have thou betrayed me? I am the portrait of your seed, father. Only look into my eyes to see your reflection, to understand my purposed evil and your obsidious hatred for me. Blue skin, black heart. When ghosts of past will draw me in. No tell of evil, no good, nor luck of rotten. The ghosts they whisper, their remembrances, tis not to be forgotten. For when we make our final exits, doth our sins become marked. Blue, blue skin, skin, black, black heart. heart. Blue skin, black heart. The other ladies of the village and I were all found dancing and reveling naked in the moonlight, partaking in the unrepentant joys of each other's flesh. What hedonistic disports doth you cast upon our eyes? I say, witch! Witch, 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 witch. Before thou art vanquished from this earth by our God-fearing hands, I say, punishment is in order. There were no thoughts could I create with my face pushed down into the damp soil, the cries of my fellow sisters silenced by the gripping hand of the self-righteous. One by one their screams and pleas extinguished until my place turned in rotation. Thy last breath, thy last sight. Of which I dearly depart with blue skin and black heart. Blue skin, black heart. Blue skin, black heart. A toil of blue skin lay in the wake of a man's wicked black heart. Wishful ignorance dictates there is some soul of goodness in things evil. Imminent truth reveals nothing of the sort. No good, no purpose, no meaning. Simply chaos. Chaos can be a powerful energy source from which to feed. To exist. To thrive. Centuries we have kept our presence at a relying distance and letting fate flow its unwanted sustenance toward us. With these lost souls, we harvest the fortune of their chaos. And in turn, our presence grows. Where it will end. Still Whom amongst you tonight proclaims themselves the leader? Hmm? Please, answer her question. Which of you feels in charge? Well, I suppose that'd be me, smartass. What of it? What empowers you to feel in charge? What empowers me? Listen here, Mama, I am. You got that? Nothing more, nothing less. Now, I'm getting sick and tired of this goddamn fancy worded nonsense y'all got going on. You wanna see why I'm in charge? No problem. Now, answer me this. Do you feel empowered? Hmm? I'll shoot every last one of y'all sons of bitches, you getting me? Yes, let your anger flow. Edgar, stop it. Don't you get started on me too, Bobby. What's your goddamn problem, huh? Why do you always gotta be the one calling the shots? Do this, do that, I don't like this. Just grow up, Edgar. I ain't playing no goddamn games here. This don't feel right, we need to leave. They're entertaining me. I don't wanna leave yet. Uh, excuse me. What? Um. Melissa is gone. Son of a bitch, where is she? I, I don't know, I swear. Was I talking to you? Huh, Dan? Did I address you by your name? Or even look in your goddamn direction? I already figured you didn't know squat. You know what? I don't need you anymore, Dan. Time to die. Wait! Just cool your jets, Edgar. If we kill him, that we won't have any more hostages to protect our asses. And what about Melissa? We gotta find her before she gets help. Good goddamn about Melissa. She'll die and rot in these woods before she finds anyone to help her. Besides, we got four potential hostages right here, just waiting to be plucked. Oh god, Dan. I gotta act quickly before they kill him. Oh, look at that. Bobby isn't watching her gun. There's my chance. Pardon me, sir, but may we continue with the show? Show's over, Hoss. 
Now, why don't you and your travel group of dumbass bastards come on down from the stage and line up in an orderly fashion? But, Edgar. No bots! God damn it! I ain't having it! We're gonna be doing things my way from now on. You four, come on down from the stage and form a single file line. I'm afraid we can't do that. Get your asses up and move it! I won't ask again. Why don't you come up here and take us? If that's what you want, then that's what you get, you dumb son of a bitch! Ah! Edgar! 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 Wake up! What the hell's wrong with you, Bobby? How, how is that possible? How is what possible? Y'all start forming some answers before I... Where the hell's my gun? I believe you left it with your body down by the stairs. What? Uh, uh, how? How the hell am I up here in my body is down there? I'm afraid you're dead. Dead? Yes, sir. Dead. Deceased. Lamented. No longer alive. A real goner. As dead as it gets, Edgar. I'll show you dead, you son of a bitch. Hey! I can't... I can't... I can't leave the stage. It's quite simple, really. As soon as your foot hit the stage steps, you entered into our world, our existence, leaving your body and all other worldly possessions behind. You belong to us now. I, I, I feel so hot. What you sons of bitches do to me? I, I, I feel so weak. My side. I, I can't see anymore. Yes, you are being absorbed by us. We can feel your hate, your chaos flowing into our energy pool. We shall continue to thrive in this realm. And it is all because of you. Yes, indeed. So before your consciousness completely dissolves into ours, I want to say truly. Thank you, dearest Edgar. Thank you for being the living epitome of chaos. Edgar? Ah! Edgar? What did you do to him? Where is he? Where's Edgar? Gone. And... No more. He is with us now. Come up here and be together for all eternity, sweet Bobby. I... Not so fast. This bitch is mine. Back away from the stage, Bobby. Melissa, I thought you were dead. Not yet, at least. Think about what you're doing, Melissa. Don't do something stupid. Yes, think about what you are doing, Melissa. I told you not to look back, foolish girl. It is far too dangerous for you to be here. For who? Me or you? Yes, Zoxian. For whom? For us. Right. Dearest Melissa, you must leave at once. I'm not leaving until this bitch is dead, and I'm gonna be the one to kill her. We cannot allow this to happen. Too goddamn bad! Please, just wait a minute. Can't we talk this out like reasonable adults? Melissa, she's going for Edgar's gun. Don't move. <laughs> this, this doesn't prove anything, <laughs> bitch. I wasn't trying to prove anything. Just wanted to watch you die, bitch. <sighs> Foolish girl. You have wasted her energy. All of it lost to the cool night air. And also, your friend doesn't appear to be doing so great. Dan? Dan! Oh, God. Oh, God, you've been shot. What, what have I done? Dan, I'm so sorry. It, it's, it's all right. 
I, I'm, I'm ready to go. What? No! Dan, you can't just leave me alone. You can't just... Dan, please don't die. It's all right. It's... I... I... Dan! I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Can any of you do something? Where did they go? Where's... of Strange Fantasy presented Two for the Show, written and produced by Travis Scarborough and Trey Gonzalez. The players of tonight's tale are as follows. Martina Olhauser as Bobby Sullivan and Zoxian. Trey Gonzalez as Edgar Sullivan. Heath Allen as Old Station Clerk. Allen and Caruso. Travis Scarborough as Tim and Thilo. Courtney Michelle Hafner as Melissa. Veronica Orozco as Sarka, J. Stephen Nichols as Dan, and Robert C. Williams as the radio newscaster. The Bread is a Strange Fantasy is copyright 2016 Burke Funk Media, all rights reserved. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental.